Hey, it's Luke. All right, I came across this rack extension that is now free, and it's actually pretty amazing. Um, to do the side chain or pumping effect or ducking effect, I've been using Kickstart 2, but uh, this has some interesting features in it that uh, I'm going to look at with you right now. So this, uh, it's called Pump, and you can get it from Reason Studios on their, on their website. You can just uh, go through the rack extensions and download it from there. And uh, it, it's actually, yeah, I, I'm loving this thing. I've just been trying it for a few minutes, but... Um, so what I did here is I wanted to have just a regular bass line. So this will work better if you, if you've got a long sustained, long sustained notes, it won't work as well if it's just a boom, 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 uh, like, unless you, unless that's what, what you're looking for, you do the adjustments. But basically if we're get if we've got a long note like this, what the pump effect will do is sound something like this. And this can be done with sidechain if you've got a, a drum, a kick drum, and then you've got that effect. But this one takes a second. <laughs> you throw it in, it's working already. Uh, there are a bunch of settings on here. So we'll go through a few of these settings. First of all, uh, this is what I, I did just as a basic, um, a basic track. So you can tell, these are the notes that I had. Let's just solo this. These are the notes that I had. It was just long, boring, whatever, very plain. So, and if we put the the drum be, the drum the drums in, um, we've got still pretty boring, right? So since we hit this, we've got that effect going. And we can adjust it quite a bit. This one here is what, if you've used Kickstart here, uh, I, I find to get started, Kickstart's a lot easier because it's basically this, this one knob here to move around. And speaking of which, there is one called One Knob from Waves, or One Knob uh, Pumper, I think it is. And uh, that one is just that one. Uh, it's nice to have a little bit more of, uh, of stuff that you can, you can adjust here. So uh, you can... On Kickstart, you've got the different, actually here, let's just uh, cut these out, throw Kickstart on. So this one's just cutting off the very, very, very early part. This one's, here, we'll go 100% mix. So this is close to what we have in the other one. And we can just have it cut. You might want to use something like this if you do want the long sustained notes. You might want to have an, something like this where you're just cutting off the very, very beginning of it uh, just so that kick transient can go through, but then um, you're letting the whole note go through. So you can hardly even notice this even on. This and this is a little bit of a difference, but it's, it's just a short, this one's even shorter here. Anyway, so that's how I've been doing it on, on Kickstart. So that knob of the, the mix is basically, this is what we're using here, is uh, the floor. So let's turn this one back on. And you can go, the interesting thing with this is you can actually go in either direction. Because with, with Kickstart, I'm going back and forth, but um, with Kickstart, Kickstart here, if we, we've got these patterns here, but you can't really go from this to this, which is close to the, the opposite, right? So that's what I sort of like with pump. So you can basically, so you can have this where it's, it's pumping. So when the kick hits, it's ducking and then it's coming back as soon as the kick's done. But this is the opposite, so this is hitting at the same time. So you wouldn't want to use it with this, but we can look at something after where this could be useful. So, and this is basically just the mix. So it, it adjusts how how um, how extensive you want the effect. So if you want it all, all the way, or just just have it coming down just a little bit, you could have a second pump effect if you wanted to with a really really short. Um, uh, with the really, really short uh, cutting out at the beginning <laughs> or whatever. So um, it would 
you'd be cutting it completely from that kick drum and then letting it come a little bit more and a little bit more. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do, but basically that's what we're, we're dealing with here. Um, the tension here will actually move a little bit of the, the point where it hits and how, how strong. This is what you would do if you just wanted it to cut. So you can tell here it's playing pretty well the whole time. That note is going except for when that kick hits. So you can adjust this and adjust the point where you want it to be cutting in and out. And then sliding it, you can move move the effect around if you want that same length, but you want it moved a little bit earlier, a bit later. And uh, and then, yeah, the smooth doesn't seem to be doing much here. It does something. I can't remember what it was. I tried it earlier, but... And then this here is where uh, the magic can happen because uh, it's got so many different patterns. I like this uh, 15 is... This one, and then moving it over. So, so this is basically close to what we had on Kickstart Two. And then again, you can adjust this. It's close to the other one we had, where we were using twelve, I think. Or, not sure which one we were just using. Thirteen. That's the one. <laughs> that's the one we were using. But then you've got all these different patterns. a very generic one but the thing is if you go a little bit higher this is where it starts to get interesting so you've got this one here where it's like coming in and a little bit louder i really like this you've got the so the bass never really goes away completely except maybe at the very 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 start this is a really really nice pattern 26 i'll have to remember that one and uh but then you've got you've got a little bit more creative ones but then once you hit this halfway through, that's where you hit these here, that's gate. And this is where it gets really interesting. So this is just, again, this is just a one sustained note that we're playing, but this is making it musical. And then if you don't like this, cause it sounds sort of weird, you can move it around. So it's a little bit more on beat. Back to zero where it should be. And again, with these, you can go here and have them a little bit less intense. Got a little bit of this is with nothing. You can tell here. just giving it a little bit of a feel and you don't have to use this only with bass you can actually use it with uh well anything but i like to use it with pads and we'll mute the bass here and then we'll just go to the pad here it's a very simple one and i had put pump on if we remove this out the beat this is just a plain pad just like anything but then he's got a little bit of a groove going and this is where i was saying earlier you might want to flip this around and instead of having having it go down and up down and up it'll be going up and down up and down so when we hit the beat got a little bit more of a feel than if we remove it and it's just plain notes going so i like to use this i do a lot of deep house music and i like to do that if i've got a high string note uh it's just to add a little bit to it it can get boring just to have the d so you'll have that and you can ha add a little bit of a, a pump effect to it and just have it move around a little bit so and again, with this, this is with the pad. I haven't tried this, but let me try some of the gate effects. And I'm sure we can automate this. There we go. We can automate this. So we could create the automation and have it just normal. And then every little while, have it hit the, 
these notes and then eventually just go back to the normal whatever or you can go between between a pumping effect and a gate you could just play around with it as much as you want so uh, there's some great stuff you can do with this it's really worth going in and getting this thing i don't know why i've never heard about this before but i'm happy i did anyways i hope you can enjoy and i hope it'll help you make some uh, some great music so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video